The concept of symmetry has enormous beauty. Its presence can be seen in various aspects of our lives, such as driving a car, evaluating architectural designs, and even in movies. We also seek symmetry when we admire aesthetically pleasing people. Symmetry can be familiar, intimidating, and even life-threatening. In fact, there was a time when symmetry almost caused the destruction of all matter in the universe. Now, let's explore how symmetry and asymmetry affects our existence and the lives of all living things on Earth. And how is the universe divided left and right? It is a complex and complicated story, but a very interesting one. Look at this snail. Pay attention to its shell. As you can see, it has the usual shape for most snails, curved to the right. It is important to note, however, that not all snails conform to this norm. In rare cases, there is a slim chance, about one in a million, that the snail's shell will curve in the opposite direction, to the left. Such an unusual phenomenon happened to a snail named Jeremy, who attracted attention because of his unusual appearance. Indeed, Jeremy's shell exhibits a leftward spiral curl. Although the specific direction of the shell twist may seem trivial at first glance, it has important implications for snails when it comes to reproduction. Snails with shells twisted in opposite directions, like Jeremy's, have difficulty mating because of the mirror-like arrangement of their reproductive organs. This is as impractical as trying to greet someone using your left hand to reach your right. Luck smiled on Jeremy, however, as a campaign started on Twitter with the hashtag snail love, attracting attention and support for his unique situation. Eventually, Jeremy found his true love and they had children. Surprisingly, the shells of their offspring were quite typical with a rightward curve. This situation makes one wonder why the world is divided into right and left. Why does this phenomenon matter? Our tireless search for answers has brought us significant discoveries. And now we want to tell you about the hidden meaning of symmetry. Jeremy's situation may be peculiar, but it is far from the most surprising example in this matter. Let us now try to understand the true nature of symmetry and its implications. Symmetry can be defined as the property of an object to remain unchanged when rotated, reflected in a mirror, or even rotated on multiple axes. If it is relatively easy to imagine symmetry of two-dimensional or three-dimensional objects, this concept becomes more complicated when we consider the symmetry of a 50-dimensional object. Indeed, we can only see it in projection on the plane. The most incredible thing is that the symmetry exists in 248 dimensions. It is almost as if we are experiencing a situation reminiscent of the reality of Doctor Strange. Unfortunately, it is difficult for our human mind to fully comprehend the intricacies of such a complex narrative. Nevertheless, mathematicians have a remarkable ability to explore these realms beyond our imagination. In the practical realm, real examples of symmetry in action can be found in the behavior of electrons in a crystal composed of cobalt and niobium, where similar symmetry patterns manifest themselves. Indeed, people strive for symmetry, at least as far as appearance is concerned. Our left side resembles our right side, exhibiting a certain degree of symmetry. However, there are organisms that exhibit much more intriguing forms of symmetry, in the case of single-celled organisms, concepts such as top and bottom or left and right are irrelevant. They exist freely in their solution, yet possess an amazing form of symmetry, spherical symmetry. Any cut through the center of the body divides into two identical parts, demonstrating perfect symmetry. There are also amazing organisms known as radiolarians that satisfy the senses of perfectionists. These creatures possess a striking beauty. However, in order to maintain their ball shape, they must remain relatively small. Once they accumulate significant mass, the force of gravity prevents them from maintaining their spherical shape. Instead, they move to another level of symmetry, known as radial symmetry. In this case, the body retains its overall structure even as it rotates around its axis by a certain angle. This is what happens with starfish and jellyfish. 
If a dog can be rotated only once to return it to its original position, a starfish can be rotated five times. It's a boring, sedentary life, but sometimes it has its advantages. Look, this is the jellyfish Aurelia arida. Its larva can swim even when it loses limbs. It simply redistributes the remaining ones and regains its symmetry. It can do this over and over again as organisms ascend the evolutionary ladder. The need for increased mobility, efficient hunting and evasion of predators becomes crucial. To meet these requirements, significant changes occur in their body structure. The front half of the body begins to differentiate from the back half of the body with the sensory organs and mouth located in this area. However, symmetry still plays an important role in their structure. Bilateral symmetry is the symmetry of the left and right halves of the body, providing efficient forward movement. This type of symmetry is very advantageous for organisms seeking to navigate their environment and pursue their evolutionary goals. Turbellarians, a group of flatworms, were among the first organisms to exhibit bilateral symmetry approximately 500 million years ago. Humans, too, possess bilateral symmetry, where the left and right halves of our bodies become symmetrical during fetal development. The intricate mechanism behind the symmetry was deciphered by Alan Turing, a renowned figure known for his contributions to various fields including the Turing test and the breaking of the Enigma cipher machine. Turing proposed that if two specific substances within living tissue influence each other's production, they can give rise to distinctive patterns and contribute to the establishment of bilateral symmetry. Indeed, mathematics has provided valuable insights into various biological phenomena, including the formation of patterns, such as spots and stripes on animal skins, blood clotting processes, and even tumor growth. Interestingly, the same principles of pattern formation and symmetry apply to the development of the fetal body. In this case, two groups of proteins play a decisive role. One group is distributed irregularly along the length of the body, and the other is distributed irregularly along the width. These proteins not only contribute to the establishment of symmetry, but also determine how many fingers we will have. The development of fingers from the initial stages to their recognizable form is a remarkable process that occurs within a mere two days. In this short span of time, the intricate mechanism orchestrates the merging of cells to create the familiar outline of a hand, culminating in the formation of fully functional fingers that we utilize throughout our lifetime. However, there are instances where this mechanism may fail, resulting in the appearance of symmetry in areas where it shouldn't naturally occur. This phenomenon can sometimes be perceived as less attractive or aesthetically pleasing. Interestingly, across many species ranging from fruit flies to humans, there is a tendency to select partners who exhibit greater symmetry. Individuals with fewer genetic abnormalities are more likely to have healthy offspring. Surprisingly, studies have shown that women are more likely to have orgasms with men who exhibit greater symmetry in their physical traits, regardless of their level of sexual experience. However, there is a type of symmetry that cannot be achieved by living organisms. Natural processes produce symmetrical structures such as diamonds and crystals, while even viruses can possess a certain degree of symmetry naturally. Viruses exist in a peculiar realm between living and non-living things. Although they possess genes and undergo evolutionary processes, they lack cellular structures and independent metabolic capabilities. Therefore, it would be more correct to classify them as organisms on the borderline of life. This unique, semi-living, semi-non-living nature allows viruses to take exciting and unconventional shapes such as spirals or icosahedrons. Using this symmetry, viruses efficiently solve the mathematical problem of constructing their bodies in such a way as to optimize the use of resources to invade other cells. An intriguing example of viruses with a unique structure are bacteriophages, which are an amazing combination of spirals and regular polyhedrons. In icosahedral form, they cleverly hide their genetic weapons by using spirals to insert their genes into bacteria, eventually leading to the production of numerous viral copies. But what about plants? 
they don't seem to obey the laws of symmetry. Look at this, total chaos. Plants obey a very different law, the law of fractals or fractal symmetries. You've probably seen fractals. They are shapes whose shape is similar to the shape of their parts. Why is it necessary for nature to have fractals? This inherent symmetry enables the efficient distribution of resources throughout the entire organism, resulting in energy and space conservation. Fractals facilitate the delivery of essential elements, such as water, air to the lungs, and blood, even to the most distant parts of the body. Indeed, the remarkable similarity in the nature of fractals has allowed scientists to transplant heart tissue into leaf veins effectively transforming them into blood vessels. This observation highlights the presence of symmetry across various levels of existence, spanning from plants to animals, and from rivers to electrical discharges in the atmosphere. These findings suggest that symmetry operates according to universal laws, implying that it possesses a deeper significance beyond mere directional distinctions, like right and left. Why then is not the whole world symmetrical? Why is there always a distinction between right and left? Moreover, how do molecules define right and left? Is the left always associated with the heart, right? Not always. In fact, in the early stages of development, the embryo has two symmetrical hearts. However, about 22 days after conception, they merge into one heart and move to the left side. This phenomenon occurs due to the presence of unique intracellular cilia cilia in embryos that selectively transport specific Turing substances from the right half to the left half, occasionally also to the right side. In rare cases, approximately one in 20,000 individuals, this genetic lottery results in mirrored organs. It's interesting to contemplate whether the heart is located on the right side and the liver on the left. However, this anatomical inversion doesn't pose any harm. If the inversion is complete and all organs are coordinated, they function without interfering with each other's work. This unique characteristic is present in individuals like Enrique Iglesias and actress Catherine O'Hara. However, it can be potentially dangerous. Singer Donny Osmond nearly lost his life due to mirrored organs when doctors, unaware of this condition, struggled to reach a correct diagnosis, mainly because the appendix was located on the mirrored side. The intriguing aspect is to understand the concept of right and left at the most fundamental level, even at the level of particles. Let's explore this idea with a concrete example with our fingers. If you make a cast of your left hand, like the one in Star Alley, and try to put your right hand into it. It won't work. Such objects are called chiral objects. In the mirror, a right-handed person turns into a left-handed person, and vice versa. Chirality leads to incompatibility of certain objects. This phenomenon is often observed in plants and animals. For example, shells can have either a right twisted or a left twisted structure. Chirality extends to various substances including the building blocks of proteins called amino acids, which are present in our bodies. These amino acids can exist in mirror forms. Despite having the same composition, their molecular structures are mirror opposites, with some of them left-handed and others right-handed. Even if the mirrored molecules are similar in appearance, their properties can be quite different, leading to different effects. A prime example is the penicillamine molecule, the left penicillamine is used to treat heavy metal poisoning, while the right one acts as a poisonous molecule capable of causing blindness. Although they are twins, their actions diverge because of their unique interactions with molecules within our bodies. The difference between right and left molecules is so strong that it can be perceived by our senses of smell and taste. Consider an orange and a lemon as an example. Both fruits contain the same odorous substance called limonene, but in a mirror image. The left limonene is present in lemons, and the right limonene is present in oranges. For some unknown reason, every living organism in nature consists of bodies constructed from left-handed amino acids. The rationale behind this preference for left-handed amino acids can only be understood by examining the universe as a whole.
The origin of asymmetry is not limited to Earth. It has extraterrestrial roots. Even meteorites, originating from distant locations, contain amino acids with a higher proportion of left-handed ones. The question arises, what could have caused this preference? Several intriguing theories have been proposed to explain this phenomenon. One such theory suggests that polarized ultraviolet light present in regions where new stars form, like the Orion Nebula, might be responsible. This specific type of light is thought to selectively destroy right-handed amino acids while leaving the left-handed ones intact. The arrival on Earth of left-handed amino acids through meteorites played a crucial role in the formation of the proteins that started all life on our planet. It is possible that somewhere in the universe life could be based on right-handed amino acids. If we were to visit such a place, we would encounter local food that we could not fully utilize. Despite consuming large quantities of food, we would eventually starve to death because our cells are unable to incorporate mirrored opposite molecules into their design. There is another theory, rooted in quantum physics, which penetrates deeper into the explanation. It has to do with the rotational behavior of elementary particles. These particles can rotate both to the left and to the right, but not in the literal sense, but at the quantum level. However, electrons in particular show a particular preference. During radioactive beta decay, electrons selectively prefer the left direction. The result is a cascade of left-handed electrons that destroys right-handed amino acids while preserving left-handed amino acids. It may be really hard to understand, but the concepts of symmetry and asymmetry provide explanations for a wide range of phenomena. Everything we are familiar with, from our knowledge and memories to the matter that makes up the universe, including the Earth, other planets, stars, our bodies, laptops, and the screen on which you are watching this issue, exists because of asymmetry. Indeed, in the early stages of the universe's origin and even now, Matter and antimatter continue to be generated within the cosmic vacuum. According to the laws of physics, matter and antimatter particles regularly collide and annihilate each other, releasing photons, which are particles of light, in the process. Visualizing this process is akin to imagining a Tetris game composed of red and black blocks that continuously collapse and vanish, leaving behind traces of light. This light can be observed in the form of relict radiation. The entire universe is permeated with this ancient light, which emerged from those primordial bursts. Now, let us imagine that in the fraction of a second after the Big Bang, for every billion black blocks, there came an additional red block. And it turns out that this red block will not be able to find a mate to destroy itself. It is these red blocks that make up the fundamental building blocks of everything we know, perceive, and experience. They constitute the very essence of our existence. These particles, unable to find counterparts among the antiparticles, started to aggregate into clouds, forming stars, star systems, planets, and eventually, us, thanks to the force of gravity. If the early universe had been completely symmetrical, with equal amounts of matter and antimatter, without that tiny elementary particle, the red block per billion particles, then the existence of planets, stars, and particularly ourselves would have been impossible. However, we exist as a product of matter's victory over antimatter, a consequence of the asymmetry between them and the ongoing struggle between the right and the left. Everything we observe and comprehend in nature be it the formation of spheres, intricacies of fractals, patterns on animal skins, composition of our body, arrangement of our heart, complexity of circulatory system, division of brain into two halves. All this is the result of symmetry and asymmetry interaction unfolded billions of years ago. And this fact never ceases to amaze us. As usual, pump your brains, bye.